Hello, 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 and a very warm welcome to my live. So I'm just putting my phone on to silent. Should have done this before I started. <laughs> I wasn't a very good brownie, was never prepared. <laughs> so hello, how are you? A very warm welcome to my live. My name's Julie Shy. I'm coming to you live from the UK. It's just after six o'clock on Friday the 3rd of November 2023. The theme of today is unicorns. Oh yes, it's been a while since we talked unicorns. Um, I've got um, my unicorn book here, in <laughs> just in case. Um, I've also got the deck of cards. Um, now, I the card I took for my reading came from this deck, The Magical Unicorns by Doreen Virtue. Um, I will be doing readings today. Uh, you do need to be over 18. Um, if you're under 18, you need parental consent and parent needs to be there when you do your reading. Uh, I'm not allowed to give legal, medical or financial advice or pregnancy advice. It's classed as entertainment only. If you choose to use the information for anything else apart from entertainment, it's down to you or not down at all me. That is not a cop out for readings. We have to legally say that part of the law here in the UK for when it comes to readings whether they're tarot oracle affirmation cards or any other readings you have to state that there is my disclaimer however the card I took was from the magical unicorn cards but I do have another deck um, which came free with a magazine um, and this is the unicorn magic power cards the 60 magical mes uh, messages here and I'm actually drawn today that if anyone wants a card, I will probably use this deck instead of this one. I know, weird, isn't it? Um, I was just sort of flushing through my things and trying to find, uh, you know, information on the unicorns and so on and so forth. So a very warm welcome to Friday. How are we all doing? Um, had a good week, have you? I've had a reasonable week. Um, I woke up in a strange place this morning. Um, I was messaging a, a friend. Um, feeling off and lots of blockages well blow me over with a feather duster poke me up the arse with the unicorn horn of a unicorn ah! i've had the most amazing thai massage today and i can very highly recommend it um it's a beautiful girl called venus from a place called um walk in hair um it's where i hello it's where i had my um hair done the other day but she's a she's a thai massage and i rang her last night because i had backache and i talked text her and just said and this is how you know when you manifest and you think you know i really need this i could really do with a massage and i just put it up there to the universe let me manifest and i texted her quite late about eight o'clock last night just to say have you got any vacancies in the next few days you know preferably tomorrow which was today um, I would love a massage and she came back and said she'd actually literally about five minutes before I text her so she was probably annoyed because it was the next day I um, had a cancellation a 90 minute cancellation so if that'd been me I would go no bloody hell less than 24 hours notice now what am I gonna do no that's not me um, I actually put it up. so there you go that's why I had to mass text her at eight o'clock because if I text her like half seven in the evening she would have gone no fully booked but I massed it and, and she goes, yeah, literally 10 minutes, she said ago, someone just cancelled for tomorrow. And I went, oh, that? well, um, goodness knows. I mean, it was rather painful. Let's put it that way. Um, only by choice, because she said, do you like it? So, and I went, no, I've got some nodules there. You're going to have to put your thumbs in to release some of the text muscles. Just doing a gentle massage ain't going to do any good. I need it slightly deep. Ew. She said, all right, I'll go slightly deeper. Hello, Stacey, I'll go. So oh, my God. She has found nodules where in my parts of my body that I didn't even realise existed. But boy, oh, boy, not only has she physically shifted stuff, and I probably down to all sorts of things, um, I'm feeling so much better. I mean, I was not in a, well, not so good place, but I was feeling a bit chilled, sad, a bit down this morning, not in a reasonable place. Hello, Lavender Moon. Hello, beautiful Stacey. Um, I wasn't in a good place, and I've, it's, I've been really off for weeks now, weeks and weeks and weeks, and I was talking to my beautiful Lavender Moon, stop, you're making me jealous. Oh my God, it was, this was the most amazing massage ever. Like I said, 
It was a bit painful. I, it was a Thai massage, mainly Thai. Thai massages are a little, they do go in deep. God, she was pulling me arms, she was stretched. Oh my God, she stretched my back, crack. She stretched my fingers, crack. I was crack, but boy, oh boy, did I need it. And I actually said to her where my problem was, and she worked on that problem. Oh my God, that was so painful. I know she was massaging, because I've been having so many headaches recently. So many, waking up in the morning with headaches. And in fact, this morning I'd actually took two sulfidine. Um, and she actually, she said, as oh, she was massaging the place in the back, she went to me and I thought, she's a Louise Hay. She's into Louise Hay. Definitely into a Louise Hay, because she was massaging. And she went, you are having headaches, aren't you? And I went, <laughs> and then she was going around and she goes, oh, no. and I thought, she does Louise Hay. Hey, for those who don't know who Louise Hay is, it's You Can Heal Your Body. And I actually, her book was the book that really transformed my life, that really set me back, met back, put me on my, not back, put, well, put me back on the old journey, onto my brand new journey. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm a great Louise Hay. And she was going, have you got a problem here? And I always shut up, Louise Hay. It was frigging awesome. Absolutely. And I am feeling really really good my mood has lifted and i feel something shifted now i have spoken before about when you're not paying attention to what the spirits are saying and what the universe is saying etc etc that it does actually start going into physical side and because it's like you've got to pay attention we're going to you know you're not listening to the subtle less messages you're not listening to the subtleness that's around you you're not so we're going to manifest something into physical side blockages removed well it's going to take a few and i'm going to i am definitely going to book i'm going to definitely book again next week definitely definitely going to book again next week and then i think i'll leave it two weeks and book another one so i'm going to have a book of three because she says it's going to get better oh boy i mean i don't feel tender but when she was doing the massage and at one time actually there's one thing that really did hurt she did a movement and then she was like pressing down and i had this sheer pain in my wrist um but that was um and I went, ah, and it nearly brought me to tears. Now, not that she's <laughs> vain thing, um, but what it was is because I've got arthritis and I didn't, and I know I've got pain there. And basically she moved my wrist back into a position. And so it was two arthritic bones crunching on each other. And it was like, ah, <laughs> but I tell you what, she relieved my shoulder. She was going for the joint, shoulder joint. <laughs> And she was like wanting my shoulder and thing, so she was pressing down and it's like, do you want me to stop? I went, no, carry on, carry on. <laughs> but it was like, oh, I didn't realise that, that that was tender. I knew I've got a pain in my, my hand at the moment. And it was like, oh gosh, almighty. But she was finding nodules all over the place. Good evening. Oh, hello, Colin. So if you are... <laughs> But it, Thai massage is quite painful, okay? Not in a horrible way. It's painful in a good way, all right? Um, when when you, like, um, you know, because some massages, you go, oh, there's a tender place, and I'm going to release that nodule and things like that. Um, but Thai massage is quite a strong, firm massage. It is, and they're sort of doing things and a lot of manipulation and things like that. Um, but she certainly, and I think, she, uh, she didn't do much lymphatic drainage, there wasn't any real no she didn't really do well with her massage was lymphatic drainage but she wasn't working on any lymph nodes because that's not what thai massage is lymphatic drainage is more like chinese massage um an indonesian massage um but like i said thai massage is really the, and she was yeah um and but uh, by oh by i'm feeling really good and my mood my mood has really lifted because i was I spoke to Lavender Moon about something today and it was, you know, blah, 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 blah. Oh, I'm just making sure I haven't locked the door. So, yep, no, that's all right. It's my daughter coming in. I thought she was about to ring the bell because I put the chain on, but no. <laughs> but yeah, this was absolutely, and I'm feeling my mood has certainly shifted from this morning and I feel something has shifted. Don't know what, something shifted. Um, and in fact, so much this afternoon I've got on and I've actually done six, six, um, videos or yeah videos for my youtube for the next cut readings for the next three days in a row blah 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 um i haven't actually uploaded to, to youtube all ready to be uploaded and and scheduled left right and center but i've literally just done that 
Um, but yeah, sometimes, you know, you, you do need this. Um, and A, had some time out to myself, a little bit of pampering. Um, and it's, you know what, like I said, sometimes we need to take time out for ourselves to refill our jug really because this morning i was all ready to go right that's it no more not going to do any more of the business not going to do any more this and then it's like oh actually <laughs> feeling better um there is some blockages there there is something that's holding me back but um energetically wise yeah here it is hello stefani all the way from california oh my god we've got scotland we've got california we've got wet well and Wellingborough, we've got Milton Keynes. Oh, we've got it all here tonight. Welcome to the international world of Judy Sharp. How are you doing, Stefani? What's it like in California? Right now, here in the UK, where I am, I know in certain areas of the UK, there's floods and there's storms and blah, blah, blah. It's just very dark and very cold. Not much rain today. So, yeah. So, um... Um, well, I'm feeling fine now. I've had a Thai massage, 90 minute full body Thai massage. Me and Wales. Oh, we got Wales. Love Wales. Hello, Wales. Yaki da. It, oh, don't, Stefani. You know how quickly you can go off, people. <laughs> uh, 72 degrees. Shut up. Shut up, Stefani. <laughs> I don't, you know, I don't mean it like that. Was it? Oh, my God. Just sec. Just two seconds. Hang on. 72 degrees. California. California, here I come. Oh, hang on, I'm just doing some visualisation. I could do with that, it's a little bit cold in the flat. The heating is actually on. I know, we've got the heating on in the flat. We've got the heating on. Oh, God. I've gone off you, Stefani. Not really. When are we going to come together? When am I going to come to California to do those workshops? I was talked to me about a year ago. I was going to connect with you. and We were going to put on a whole load of workshops. I was going to come over to California and do a whole load of workshops for you and your friends and do some unofficial work. <laughs> Don't tell the US emb embassy when I apply for my visa. <laughs> But yeah, love it. Absolutely. Oh yeah, a bit of California sun. I'm on the plane tomorrow. I'm on my way. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So yeah, so I'm all set up for a weekend now. Looking forward to it. So yeah, so today's theme, today's theme is uh, unicorns. Now I have just posted the link to my unicorn medica med med medication, meditation flight of the unicorn. Woohoo! Actually, it's had over a hundred views on it now. So when you log on to it, it comes with an advert. Hopefully, the advert isn't there in the middle of it as well, just at the beginning and at the end. But you know, when you get a certain number of viewing on your videos in the U in, in on YouTube, they bung in adverts. I don't get paid for it. It's YouTube bung in the frigging adverts. Um, so I'm just hoping there isn't an advert in the middle of this meditation. It just goes all the way through. Just the one in the middle. So we're talking about unicorns. Who or what are unicorns? Well, unicorns are classed as um, uh, like spiritual beings. A bit like dragons, you know, the phoenix, the salamanders um, are special, uni uh, special um, animals, spirit guides. And they're mystical. The unicorns, if you know what a unicorn is like, it is a horse with a horn. One horn, uni, unicorn, <laughs> yeah, unicorn. Um, they're magical. Um, they can um, fly. Um, mind you, usually you see them without wings. But this Diana Cooper, the wonder of unicorns, her one has wings. Personally, um, you've got Pegasus. Pegasus is a big giant horse. I love working with Pegasus. Pegasus is enormous. When you work with the unic with the Pegasus and you call him in, make room for this massive, enormous horse that has got wings. Love it. Love unicorns. I ah, do it. Yeah, Diana Cooper. Um, so, um, but unicorns usually just have the one horn. If you see a horse, if you see a visualization of a horse with massive wings, wings of fire, often that is Pegasus. If you see a horse with a horn on it. Or a horn with wings that is a unicorn the wings specific uh, signify flight you're flighting flying you're flying high you're flying in from one place to another 
um, and you're doing a transformation and that's what it is but sometimes a lot of unicorns when you visualize them sometimes they will or won't have wings it doesn't really matter it's how you visualize and one day you may see your unicorn your your unicorn with a wing and other days you may see him without the wings because it means that maybe you need to take flight take a flight from where you're blocked to somewhere else but they are our spiritual animals you know we have spiritual animals you know like, like owls and robins and things like that but often when we see a spiritual animal such as an owl or a robin or a spider or anything they come and you look into the message what is the message of a spider what is the message of a snake what is the message of an eagle what is the message of an owl owl wisdom okay so that is when you actually see you know out and about oh look there's a magpie or oh look there's a horse in the field or oh look but they all have a spiritual meaning behind it now we do have um your own spiritual animals you work with now my spiritual guide uh, animal spiritual animal is an eagle is an eagle and it is an actually an american bald eagle i know i'm blessed with an american bald eagle they are massive the american bald eagles um that is my spirit guide animal my main one i do have animal guides that pop in and in, in and out as and when i need i love it oh i love me eagle it makes you allows you and i this is thanks to 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 colin i blame everything on colin you have to find someone or something to blame <laughs> and i because i'm not willing to no because no, no colin knows i do it with so much love um he took me on an amazing meditation healing um uh, 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 hypnotherapy journey um and i flew with the eagle and i became the eagle um and uh, <laughs> colin you know i do it with so much love and joke and stuff like that because he took me on this amazing hypnotherapy healing journey it was amazing and it was flying and reconnect and it reconnected me with my eagle um about having to fly above you can see down below the eagle no other birds can fly as high as the eagle um even if a crow tries to attach itself to the back of the eagle it gets to a certain height and flies off because you can't breathe up there the eagle likes to take a higher picture of the view of everything and that's what i've ever since then taking a view of everything taking it all in and just going yeah no and nothing can get me now nothing can affect me sometimes it does when the human ego gets in the way <laughs> but hey ho hey ho hey ho how cool is that yeah i mean if you uh i highly recommend colin he's the most amazing hypnotherapist um and uh and he takes you on such good, good journeys. I mean, he's helped me with my nails, or helped me with so many things. And we often we have to ask for help from other specialists, you know, when we can do only so much work on our own. That sometimes we it'd be good. It's good to have an input from another side. My shoulders remain pulled. <laughs> Thank you, Colin. Okay. Um, <laughs> to me, Colin's like a a, a, a brother. Um, and I spoke, I've told him before, I said, it's like, oh, I tease you like my brother. And he takes it well. Like he said, his child is from Mainport. <laughs> but he is amazing. If you want um, any um, hypnotherapy or stuff, I recommend contacting Colin. And he can do it on uh, whatever he does it on. I'm going to say Zoom. It's not Zoom, but it's the equivalent. So wherever you are in the world, wherever you are in the world, you know, um, yeah connect with colin i highly recommend him um he's, he's amazing yeah but he cured me and if anyone could kill me they must be frigging awesome love you colin um, <laughs> so let's go back to unicorns yeah unicorns like i said i have shared a link to my meditation that is available there is two meditations there's one on the unicorns flight of the unicorns i do also have a meditation called flight to with pegasus i know paul colin <laughs> yeah when he's had enough as of all he hops into daisy and goes off for a weekend away you know on his little camper van motor van sorry <laughs> all those girls and off he goes Pork. <laughs> he's going to have all these neurotic females contacting him help me colin help me and he's going oh my gosh help me help me <laughs> trouble is he's so good at his job 
<laughs> should be looking at your job then you wouldn't get recommended like i'm going to recommend venus from walking hair oh my god she was amazing and things have shifted so we have the wonder of a unicorn the wonder of unicorns other books also available and you know i was just thinking i don't think i've got a unicorn journal so guess what i'm gonna get you're welcome my darling you're welcome yes zoom these oh it is zoom these days um you're welcome my darling and you know it comes from the from unconditional love oh he's amazing i absolutely love colin oh, he's done and he's done amazing work on himself um and yeah love this so the unicorns there are other books also available but i you know i've got this one diana, diana cooper now it's not the easiest of book to get hold of the the wonder of unicorns by diana cooper but if you can get hold of it um amazon.co other books or shops also available um it's quite a good book it's quite mythical quite mystical as well but there's lots of information packed into here so and in fact this is the only unicorn book i've got i was looking to see what other book i mean i've got my drag of course i've got dragon books of course i've got dragon books um but um this is the only unicorn book but like i said i discovered i've actually got three unicorn decks um, and I will be doing some readings with the uni uh, with things. I have done my disclaimer in case anyone wants to know. I would love to know more, please, about hypnotherapy. Um, yeah, well, um, C Colin is the one to talk about hypnotherapy. Um, but yeah, there you go. You've got a client there from California. California. Um, it has really helped me. He has really helped me. Um, and because he did it in such a way, because he knows I'm like a spiritual junkie. I'm a bit woo-woo that he he actually sort of um uh because they specialized is that the right word in in using the techniques that connected with my my madness so you'll probably connect there i'd love to know more about hypnotherapy we can talk about that another day maybe we can do a live and combined live drop me a dm and let's have a chat yeah absolutely there you go connect with colin there you go colin um uh, and you could do paypal so no trouble about payment with dollars etc etc but yeah colin's invited there colin is lovely he's amazing i highly recommend him so the wonder of unicorns great book um a unicorn always speaks of love um glamour and illusions are the downfall of all spiritual work and it's so exciting to connect with other realms and dimensions that can, people can get away with this is why many religious frown upon meditation and work. Medi a lot of religions don't like us meditating, don't like connecting with these other guys. Um, when you connect with a unicorn, you become quite euphoric and it's wonderful. Um, but you need to be sensible, you know. You know when they say, oh, you're away with the fairies. I'm away with the unicorns. Um, and it's like your link to your still quiet center where you listen to the voice of God is your safeguard and your strength unicorns speak of love um they are like i said they're spiritual i think so they can oh look she this this book it talks about the power of nature unicorns and gardens unicorn babies having a unicorn shower unicorn humming bell balls oh you know like that unicorn orbs oh my gosh connecting with the unicorn orb um unicorn at christmas unicorn healing and how to do a unicorn healing if you want to work with the healing now like i said if you go with my meditation connect with the unicorns and you heal unicorns in atlantis unicorns with crystals planetary service with the unicorns portals for the unicorns who the unicorns help well they can help everyone the symbolization let me see what 166 is all about bear with me uh symbolism symbols are an expression of something powerful and meaningful well we talk about symbols in all life we can have angel numbers are symbols when you see a spiritual guide symbols like when you look and do tea 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 leaf tra uh, reading etc uh, a ring worm uh, a ring worn on the second finger of the left hand represents commitment and unity love um depending on which ring ring uh, finger you wear your rings on is symbolism uh it's a circle is a, of unity um where is it the lion and the unicorn in 1603 when queen elizabeth the first died without an heir she was succeeded by james the sixth of scotland oh we're doing a bit of history here at that time the scottish coat of arms carried two unicorns while the english one bore a lion 
The lion and the unicorn were considered to be enemies, which is interesting as the lion represents the male and the unicorn represents the female. Ooh. However, they were both thought of as the king of beasts. The lion with his masculine energy ruled through strength, might and valour. The unicorn, the feminine, presided with harmony, nurturing and caring. So when the new coat of arms was designed in a tactful and sensible gesture, James VI placed the lion on the left and the unicorn on the right. The symbolised the reconciliation between Scotland and England, a merging of their strength and of course the balancing of the masculine and feminine energies. Yeah, did you know there was a unicorn? Now the thing is, why would there be a unicorn on a flag of a country they want it's like um in wales they have a dragon why you know if it's this mythical creature but they would have they must have existed in order to, for someone to have seen it to then realize how magnificent they are and then to have that design put on a flag i mean omg absolutely the rose and the lily there are two highest frequency flowers on the planet, the rose and the lily. These are the highest frequency. Originally, the rose was a symbol used in the West and the lily in the East. But over the last few centuries, both are used worldwide. Because of the light and the fragrance, they're specifically loved by unicorns and are often depicted with them. So a unicorn loves to be around by the rose and the lily. The rose, oh, Julie's turned into a book. Well, hand in a hand. <laughs> Wand in a hand. Oh, I love my books. Um, so the rose and the lily are the highest frequency flowers that there are. Now, often in the UK and in some cultures, the lily is representing, you know, when you, <laughs> you know, at, uh, uh, on a funeral, and a funeral, and a death, the death, the death, um, lilies, lilies, you know, represent death. Roses are love and re resurrection. So the two together, but they're the highest vibration. And of course, unicorns have a very high vibration. Yes, I'm doing a reading. <laughs> One hand in there. Uh, the unicorn and the rose. The rose is indication of perfect light, love, bliss and high aspiration. For this reason, the unicorn is often showed garlands of roses. Together, unicorn and the rose demonstrate strength, consistency, and immortality. The rose is the symbol of Mother Mary, the divine feminine. Her soul originates from Venus, hang on, known as the planet of love. The unicorn and the iris. The French, oh my God, I'm giving so much information today. The French like to depict the unicorns with the iris. Uh, this stands for nobel, 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 nobility and goodness, while the pur blue purple of the flower represents royal bearing. And Joan of Arc carried a white banner depicting Goss, God blessing the fleur de lis, where she led the, led the French troops into victory. And the iris represents Virgin Mary as well. So the universal, oh, look, there's lots of um, symbols here. Let's talk about symbolism. Oh my God, are you ready for some symbolism? Are we ready for some symbolism? Okay, the sun, masculine energy, life force, vitality, happiness. Moon, feminine energy, mystery, psychic force and intuition. Fish, religion and spirituality. Bird, freedom. Cat, feminine energy, intuition, psychic force. Dog, masculine energy, friendship, loyalty. Oh, look, offence. Offence is a blockage, restrictions. And a gate is opening to new possibilities. A ladder, access to higher possibilities or higher realms and ambition. A house is your consciousness. A tree is yourself, the tree of knowledge. Unicorn, your light, your highest aspect, and the Christ consciousness. Now, I was talking about Christ consciousness the other day. The Christ consciousness is not about Jesus Christ, God, 
the, you know, that sort of, it's a different Christ consci consciousness. Yourself. This is you as you can feel now. Do you have eyes to see? Do you have eyes to see? Ears to hear? Fingers to feel? Ears to hear are you are listening. Your nose is your intuition. Right, symbolism of a bridge. Crossing from one state to another. A path. The route you're taking in life. A river. The river of life. A vehicle. Are you travelling through your life? Oh, a treasure chest. Contains the gifts and talents. Is it open or closed? Locked, large or small? So there's so many things that have so many different spiritual meaning and symbols. And if you have drawn, uh, if something you have drawn means nothing to you, imagine you have become that person or object. Perhaps you have drawn a chair. Imagine you are that chair and your unconscious mind has drawn it in a way that gives you a message about your inner world. As you describe it, start sentences, I feel, and you may want to say, I feel soft and comfortable. I feel too sat upon. I feel hard and rigid. I feel too big for the space. I feel out of place. I mean, it's amazing with just a symbol of that. I love watching you with your books when you haven't read them for ages. It's like you fall in love with them again. I know. Oh, I love books. I mean, when I went back to, because as you know, I went to Glastonbury last week. Oh, yes, good old Glastonbury. Um, and on the Friday morning before I went home, I went back to Glastonbury and did all the bookshops because on the Wednesday I didn't do all the bookshops. I did do the crystals shops. And I, and I thought, no, I haven't done the bookshops. Oh, I, w I was in Glastonbury for about two hours wandering around all the bookshops. Um, so that's the unicorns. Um, and uh, yeah, so unicorns have been seen th by people throughout the ages. Emperor Hyundai uh, in China saw one. Emperor Fuxi saw a unicorn. Oh, these are all um, Chinese. The Emperor Wu Tui. Um, Genghis Khan, he saw unicorns. Julius Caesar saw unicorns. Alexander the Great saw unicorns. Confucius saw unicorns. So unicorns have been seen by amazing people throughout the world. Um, I love my books. I mean, yeah, I was using books yesterday, Tara. I just love it. There's so much so much information and i love tapping into the energy diana cooper has got great energy and i've got about two or three of her cards i've got two or three of her books as well um she's amazing as diana cooper are there any questions about unicorns should we do some readings 33 minutes and 33 seconds don't you love that 33 minutes and 33 seconds i haven't got my number books here hey shall we yeah let's talk about cards first so the the reading for the day um uh the car you reading full reading for the day is on my youtube channel oh we've got three people watching 33 minutes and three people watching i love it so the card for the day was forgive forgive um it's a time to let go of anger or blame so yes sometimes when someone does something you're not actually you know like forgiving the action you know bullying you forgiving the action but i forgive that person because that person who did that to you they had to go through a certain journey as well as you they had to play the part of a bully to feel in control of their life you had to play the part of the victim of a bully who was it like and then you can go through your life talking about that and to forgive it go you know what i forgive you being a bully yeah it was sheer hell when i went through it but now i now know what it likes to be bullied and if i see anyone else being bullied i can step in and help blah 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 so i forgive you because there must have been a reason why you had to be a bully perhaps in your own life back home you were out of control the only way you can feel control is by controlling other people and be being the bully when you understand that and you go, you know what, I'm going to release that energy. You're not going to have that control over me anymore. And that is the forgiveness. I forgive you because even though what you did to me, I'm no longer going to become the poor me, the poor me, the victim. I'm going to flip it. And when the flip it, you do the forgiveness. And it's time to let go of anger because whenever you talk about, oh, they did this to me, you're saying that from a place of blame. You're blame from a place of pain, from a place of anger. 
a place of upset. What low depth, depth energy is that? It's not good energy. And you're feeding into that energy and you're getting more and more pain and more and more anger. You know what? We are worthy of higher vibration, happy vibration. And as soon as you go, you know what? It happened. And I'm going to let you go. Let you go, love and I. And I was doing this sometime a couple of years ago. I was thinking of the person. In fact, one of them came, contacted me out of the blue and go, hi there. Yeah, I found you on Facebook. Remember me? And my comment was, yes, I remember. You put my life through hell. And it was like, and I don't think she was expecting that. And she went, oh, oh, I'm really sorry about that. And I went, yeah, you did. You and your mates were such a bitches to me and made my life hell that I was so unhappy at school. Blah, 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 blah. But you know what? And she was going, I'm really, really sorry. And I go, well, that's okay. Because I forgive you now and let you go in love and light. But there was a lesson there. And why did you, and I go, why did you feel you had to make other people's lives misery? Because your own was, and it was making you feel better. I said, look into the reason why you made my life hell. But you know what? I'm no longer letting you control myself. And so thank you for reaching out. Fuck off. <laughs> and she was going, oh, I'm really sorry. I go, that's fine. I never heard from her again because I thought I don't want her in my life. But I told her, but I felt really good. And I said, you know what? But I let you go. I let you go because I said, I'm not letting you have that control over me anymore. But just to point out, and she goes, do you know what? I hadn't even thought. And I went, yeah, you hadn't thought about it for years and years, but I held on to that. I'm releasing it. So thank you for reaching out. Wishing you a wonderful life. Hope everything's well in your life. Not doing that sarcastically. Sending you so much love. Thank you for reaching out. But as I've let the bullying let go, I'm letting you go as well. Enjoy your life. Bye. I released, unfriended, blocked because I didn't want her in my life. But I told her and she was go and she was so upset about it because I'm really sorry. And I went, <laughs> I said, I just hope your children aren't bullies. You know, it's time to let go. But I let go. And I said, you know, I don't know what was going on in your life as you were growing up. But, you know, and I said, maybe there's a powerful lesson there for you. But I let her go. I love the block letter. I know. I, I used it again today. I found uh, two people have jumped onto my post. Hello, I love your your energy. I love that. I've tried to friend you, but Facebook hasn't let me. Bullshit to that, then bother. Please friend me and we can chat on WhatsApp. So what I do, I immediately go onto their post. I block them. And then I go back onto their message and I delete the message and I let and I go, let you go with love and light. Because they're fake anyway. They're all fake. Why do I want to be a friend with an army major who's an American army major who's currently stationed in Afghanistan? Well, I don't think they are based in Afghanistan at the moment. I don't think there are any American generals in Afghanistan anyway. But why would I want to go with someone? Quite clearly their account, because they've only got pictures from the last three days, and they're quite clearly Photoshop pictures of something from the internet or something. I don't want to contact you. Ah! I don't want your energy, your fake energy. No, I don't want that around me, so I do constantly block and things. Absolutely, because it's my Facebook. I can invite people or let people go. Um, exactly full of sh yeah absolutely and they all want to contact and then they start chatting to you then they want you to no longer talk on messenger they want to talk on whatsapp and then they start saying oh i need this money you know send me some money i'm in afghanistan but we need to buy some more tanks send you send me twenty thousand pounds but when i get back to america next week i can send you the money meanwhile we need some money to buy the tanks and i went america aren't in afghanistan or wherever they reckon they are in hello yay or most of them are engineers i'm an engineer working on a on an oil rig I'm an engineer working on oil rig and um, I need to get some money or I've come over to a country um, and I haven't got the money to fly back. And I went, can you send me a phone? Fuck off, fuck off. Who do you think I am? Uh, millionaire? Well, I might be a millionaire. Well, I'm visualising being a millionaire tonight. There's a, the Euro millions tonight. I've got a ticket and I'm visualising it. Yeah. And I did this really well last night. And I said to Anna, I said, oh, what were you going to do with a million pounds? And she was going, you know, what would we do? And I got on visualising it. Now, I did that with Glastonbury. So we were visualising the million pounds. And I was going, yeah. 
and I was talking when I was talking to Vicky on um, when I was having my nails done yesterday Thursday and I was saying all oh, about what we do with all the money and how I'd help with the local charities and things like that blah 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 makes you think you think you're chatting to Brad Pitt well can I tell you this on TikTok I tell you who's following me on TikTok at the moment I have Prince William is following me on TikTok I have Keanu Reeves. Well, I've got about six Keanu Reeves following me on TikTok. I believe I do have Brad Pitt, Pitt, Pitt is following me on TikTok. Donny Osmond apparently is following me on TikTok. But yeah, Prince William started following me two days ago. I went, oh, hi, Wills. How are you? And no, I didn't talk to him. No. But it was like, oh, Prince William's following me on TikTok. If that, what? No. And then it goes, follow back. I went two fingers up at that. <laughs> I mean, and it goes, yeah, Prince William is now follow, following you on TikTok. Connect with him and chat now. I went, what? So I've got Keanu Reeves, a whole load of Keanu Reeves. I've got about six Keanu Reeves are following me on TikTok. Don't know how that happens. Like I said, Prince William a couple of days ago. <laughs> Donny Oz, I'm trying to think of all the other. Brad, yeah, Brad Pitt is following me on TikTok. Um, I'm trying to think who else is following me at the moment. Not Carl Gray. No, Carl Gray is not following me on Instagram or TikTok. I mean, come on, Kyle. You know, I follow you on Instagram, Kyle Gray. Come on. <laughs> ah! But he ain't following me. But he is. Uh, that, but I am on the right Carl Gray. It is the right Kyle. Make sure if you are going to follow him, Carl Gray on Instagram. Make sure you've got the right Kyle Gray because there are tools quite a few imposters but I am on the right cut I am on the right Kyle Gray one and I double check triple check that it was the right Kyle Gray actually I went on his Facebook page and then he shared the link to his right one he actually said this is the right Kyle Gray one and then he comes up someone else is saying this is the right Kyle Gray to follow blah 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 I don't know why Prince William wants to follow me on TikTok I don't know. Maybe he wants to connect me. Carl Gray, please follow our Julie. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> absolutely, yeah. Um, maybe because Prince William has discovered that I've got royal more royal blood in me than he has. And maybe he wants to connect with the royal patronage of my Welsh line because I've got more Welsh blood in me um, because of my link to Llewellyn, the first true prince of North Wales. As opposed to Prince William being the Prince of Wales now, I've got more royal blood in him than he has. And maybe that's why he's reached out, because he wants to get in touch with the real royal, the fake one. I don't know. <laughs> one can only speculate. OK, forgive. It's time to let go of anger and blame. Yeah, when you, you know, why do you want to walk around with so much pain? You know, constantly bringing you down. You know, just release yourself and let it go. Okay, who's here and wants a card? So like I said, I've done my disclaimer, but I'm actually going to use this deck. I'm actually used, drawn to use this one, the Unicorn Magic Power Cards. Um, from a, a certain um, magazine. <laughs> I've just said that. A certain magazine. Other magazines also available. Um, but this is Unicorn Magic Power Cards. I've got about two or three really good decks from that certain magazine interesting magazine very expensive at the moment very expensive i've bought one for ages maybe i'll ask for one for my christmas presents they're so expensive i know that i mean look i love the back unicorn magic so i'm actually drawn to use this one for the readings today so if you want to tag some people in now because we've only got a couple of people watching so if you want to tag a few people in um and yeah uh they're um different pictures Okay, so Colin, you chop Tom first, so let's do say hello to Colin um, and do you a card. Colin, Colin, Colin. Have a wonderful weekend, whatever you're up to, people. Um, and uh, I don't know whether you'll get your cards back. So Colin, Colin, Colin has, oh, look at this one. Oh, it's got some pink, pretty pink flowers. Look at, I don't know whether you can see that. What pretty pink flowers in their manes. I know that I am never alone. My loved ones will always be at my side. Look, there's two unicorns together. I know that I'm never alone. My loved ones will always be at my side. So the loved ones, so whether they're our ancestors, 
or our parted ones, or our loved ones are like our girlfriend, boyfriends, our husbands, wives, fiancés, whoever. But they're also our friends, because I love Colin. Oh, I love our lovely Colin. So it's like, know that we're never alone. And please reach out. You are not alone. So if you're having a shit time and you want to chat, you know where I am, without judgment. Try not to tell you what to do. And sometimes, you know, just say, do you want me just to listen or do you want advice? And that's a good thing to talk to someone. When someone reaches out, say to them, do you want me to listen or are you looking for advice? Car pack now, but planning a train trip tomorrow to crew. Ooh. What's a crew apart from a big train junction? There's only a big terminal at crew. Isn't crew whether you do a little, you try, you to go to train to crew and then you do, because it goes, change at crew for such and such a, change at crew for such and such a. Isn't crew one of the things that um, you change trains at? Uh, rail music. Oh, I said one at crew. Oh, because I knew there was one at York. One at York. I remember taking Henry, uh, my son, when he was about three years old, to the York Train Museum because they had Thomas the. He was in heavy into Thomas the Tank Engine. Well, little boys at three usually are. Were were in, into Thomas the Tank Engine. So and they had a big Thomas the Tank Engine there. Thomas the Train and other things so we took him up there to see it a rail museum okay i know that i am never alone my loved ones will always be at my side your loved ones whether they're your spirit guides your angels your unicorns your human beings that love you you are there your angels are there by your side your spirit guides they're always there have a fantastic time tomorrow enjoy 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 um, so then we've got Lavender Moon, Lavender Moon, Lavender Moon. And is there anyone else apart from Lavender Moon who would like a card comment? So I'm going to do Lavender Moon. So that, that's a lovely message from the unicorn. Hello, Judy Jones. I'm just going to do a unicorn message. I was talking about York 50 seconds ago. Un uh, Lavender Moon. I can solve any matter I face because I trust my innate wisdom. I can solve any matter I face because I trust my innate wisdom. Yeah. Um, yeah. You trust your wisdom now. And that's what our wisdom and our inner knowing. And you know when sometimes someone says, how do you know that? And you just go, I just know. And I just know I know it. It's from our DNA. Our, and maybe that knowing message has come from our spirit guide. So it's just in your intuition. But yeah, trust it. I can solve any matter I face because I trust my innate wisdom. Sometimes you may need to pause a minute when you get a problem or an obstacle in your way. Sometimes you need to, you know, when they say count to 10, sometimes that's what you need to do. Count to 10 and then you connect with your, your wisdom and they go, right, rather than rushing in and then go, yeah, I don't know what to do. Panic, panic. Joe. Hang on, let's count to 10. We'll count to seven. Magical number seven. Um, how, you, you know, Colin, seven, seven, seven. Love that. Money fortune. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, so next time something crops up, Lavender Moon, just pause for a moment and then just go, yeah, I do know actually what to do. And if someone says, you know, how do you know? And you go, well, you've got to trust and they go prove it. And you go, I don't need to prove you anything. Who are you? I don't, I don't care if you believe me or not, if you want to call me a liar or not. But I know the, my inner truth and this is what I know. And I don't need to justify myself or prove to you because it's my inner knowing and two fingers up at you julie jones julie jones i'm all right i had an amazing thai massage today um oh i need to message you about that name of that um inn up in in york and do that uh thing and get 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 a weekend booked or something There's, we'll have a chat and organize something right julie jones julie jones julie jones apart from julie jones is there anybody else who wants a card so julie jones we're connecting with the unicorns um, I know that I can go anywhere in the world that I desire. I know that I can go anywhere in the world that I desire. Yes, especially when you get your camper van as well. Judy Jones is another one who wants the freedom of the road. The freedom, and it's like not the freedom of the road, it's the freedom of rather staying play in one place, in, staying stationary in one place where we feel trapped. That's why we all want, that's why they, well, they, they all want us to have this house, this mortgage because you're trapped in that one house and you can't move freedom. They don't like people moving around and living a life of freedom on the earth and things like that. But I know I can go anywhere in the world that I and you can. So wherever you want to go and don't use the I haven't got the money, I haven't got the time. 
know what bullshit to that you know what i mean i know you, your daughter's starting her gcse so you're a little bit stuck for a couple of years not stuck but a couple of years but you know what we can do the freedom i mean so on and so forth i know that i can go anywhere we can well we can go certain places you may not want to go i mean you can actually get to see north korea if you really want to i wouldn't recommend it you can actually go to afghanistan and iraq you can actually go to israel and the gaza strip but i wouldn't recommend it you can actually go to the ukraine and russia but i wouldn't recommend it actually i don't think you can get to russia at the moment but hey ho but we can go to these places it's our own um illusions that stop us so if you want to go to a, anywhere where, where do you want to go i want to go to my land of the unicorns so i'm going on a meditation to join my land of my unicorns or the land of the fairies or i'm gonna yeah um we were talking about going connecting with our uh, intergalactic guides and i'm actually drawn to working with the Induetta. and i actually had you know we had that conversation was it last night or this morning i can't remember lavender moon doesn't matter when we had it, it was sometime um we had it and it's like when i did that I sort of felt connection with, I was going to say like an alien, I didn't call them an alien, but um, and I can actually see, you know that image of the someone with that long grey head, it's sort of like put round pointed with the two big goldfish eyes or whatever like that, I've actually got one here now, I've got, I've got one here, he's here, hello, hello, you know, oh no, but yeah I've got one, I can go anywhere in the world, when the time is right I'm off well the time could be any time don't wait for the t don't wait for an alignment that is an excuse but no i know the time is because you've got um uh one doing her gcse's at the moment but yeah absolutely but you're laying the foundation you're doing that and you know what going in your camper van doing like i was going to do do go in your camper van or whatever um and then when you set up in your camp vans you go the psychic medium is in the the, the mass massage therapist is in and uh yeah absolutely and on the campsites and go the therapist the tarot reader is in the reiki healer is in come and sit down on this deck chair and i'll give you some reiki healing or you've got some nice rugs on the floor outside and give me do it or if it's raining you've got the bed in the couch and then if you've got like a a bench and you can turn one of the benches you've got a long bench into a seat you can do the massage there if you can if you know what i mean it's amazing when you just get your mind oh my brain is just gone oh my gosh i'm not waiting for just the moment oh i know the moment i love that i'm waiting for the moment absolutely you're right and the right moment um and i was going to message colin actually before he hops on that train to crew because i was thinking do i get my camper van now or i'm actually doing the research now or because i'm not actually going to be traveling at the moment well maybe not because it's a little bit cold should i wait until purchase it in january or february or maybe there's some cheaper vans going now because people's at the end of the season and people go right that's the end of the season don't need it now and i don't know the best place to buy one from so that's going to message dear old colin call colin got to get all these messages going to message him to sort of say right where's the best place to buy one on reasonable price where i won't get ripped off um best place to start looking that was my message to colin i was going to message you but <laughs> ah! that's a bit naughty is there anybody else i have a lot on it though so no, i travel a lot oh i love that you see you're doing astro meditations i've got a uh, uh, an intergalactic person just here prices dip in the winter i thought so colin i thought so um yeah like i said i've got hello hello i'm just gonna have a conversation with someone here i've got the male energy <laughs> i'm away with the aliens here yeah? no i mustn't call you an angel intergalactic i've got i've got to talk to him i've got astro prices go different i thought so colin i don't know where the best place to because julie jones wants a, a a camper van as well we're going to go off in tangent we're going to follow each other and go off while camping or whatever and set up our set our treatments i don't know we have this great plan julie jones and i um, when it's the right moment it is the right moment because i'm well it's the moment it's now because i'm laying down the foundation for it so yeah so, oh God, an intergalactic guy here amazing when you think about it and talk about it and suddenly boom they go oh i'm buzzing my right hand is buzzing i'm receiving his message it's interesting he's on my right and not my left 
Yeah. Okay. Is there anybody here who hasn't had a reading would like a reading? Is there anybody here who would like a reading and hasn't had a reading? Okay. I think everybody's here. Volkswagen runs my dream. There you go. Well, talk to Colin. He'll help you guide you in the right place. Um, I've gone for a different one, actually. I've, I've stepped away from the Volkswagen. I've gone for more like a transit van um, for me because uh, I've that's what uh, I'm feeling uh, inclined to use now. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm inclined to think. But yeah, it was. Well, it is and it still is. Um, but the one I've been drawn to at the moment is this... Um, transit sort of that or whatever it is I don't know what you call it never mind right onwards and upwards 55 minutes and 55 seconds so I'm going to end there 55 minutes and 55 seconds so wishing everyone an absolutely amazing weekend whatever you're up to um wh whatever you're thinking about dreaming etc wishing you an absolutely amazing weekend um thank you for joining me tonight thank you for all your love thank you for all your energy thank you for being with me all week when you pop on and pop off etc like that thank you for sharing it all thank you for commenting on my posts and sharing my posts it really means a lot it really lifts me up especially when i'm yeah you know, but have a fab weekend so i don't know what you're up to have an extraordinary weekend even if that extraordinary weekend means doing nothing and pampering yourself and having a lie-in having a bubble bath that is and reading books and doing like that because that is an extraordinary because you instead of doing the ordinary weekend rushing around doing the washing and the cleaning and doing your ordinary things you do go you know what i'm going to do something extra i'm going to do something extra for me something different for me i'm going to do something that i love doing if it means going um, out for a long walk in the countryside or by the sea, I don't know. Do something extra, extra beyond the normal weekend. Um, oh, happy birthday to Emmy. Was she now 14? Happy birthday to Emmy. Oh, my God, of course. Birthday party. Par oh, I've been to Emmy's parties. Emmy's had some great parties in the garden. I have eight teens in the house. Oh, my God. <laughs> No, I won't be coming to visit you. <laughs> Get a bottle of wine in. It will help. Whether you give it to the 18s or not. I don't know. I've got a bottle of wine in the fridge. I'm going to open that in a minute. I've got some tins aside as well. Have a fan. Do you need some help? Do you need me to come up and help you, Julie Jones? Um, <laughs> ah! I'll come up and help you if you want. Come away for the weekend. Come and join you. Give you some peace and quiet help. Yeah, all right. <laughs> ah! Maybe I'll come and do a visit up to York tomorrow. I will. I, I cancelled something I was doing yet tomorrow because I was meant to be doing a Reiki exchange, but I just my head wasn't in the right place for a Reiki exchange. Um, so, <laughs> so I've got a free weekend now. Maybe I'll just hop on the car and come up and visit you. There's a Premier Air in round the corner from you. <laughs> Maybe that's what you need. I'll bring the wine and the lager, and <laughs> help. Oh, have fun. And a, ver a very big happy but Give Emmy my love and a big hug from me and tell her I, I love Emmy. Emmy's, uh, Judy's got two amazing, wonderful kids. I love them both. Love them both. Um, and uh, they're adorable. So, yeah, lots of love to Emmy. Have a beautiful birthday. Have a fun weekend. And I'll see you all Monday. Have a great weekend, whatever you do. <laughs> Hopefully, Judy Jones, you'll su survive and we'll see you Monday. Thank you for joining. Sending you so much love. Take care. Namaste. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye.